and welcome back. Now listen, in page 252 of Aggressive Health, in the last video, we talked about Zeta Potential, okay? We talked about connecting yourself to the earth, something you can do for free, something that will massively improve your health. It's information that needs to be out there. But what else can you learn about Zeta Potential to understand this amazing phenomena? Well, firstly, you can understand this. I want you to think of three different substances, okay? What you want you to learn is three different words. Anionic substances, which create dispersion, cationic substances which cause things to come together but non-ionic substances which just mess up zeta potential because they mess up ionic flow what does that mean that doesn't matter for now anionic substances cationic substances non-ionic substances the more anionic substances you've got going for you or that you've got in your diet the more dispersion the more flow you're going to get the more cationic substances the more things are going to clog together and the more you might the increase you increase that chance those red blood cells stacking together and having lack of flow in the system. Non-ionic substances, they can mess up zeta potential which can mess up a whole host of things, we don't have time to talk about that. So, let's first talk about the cationic substances, the things that cause things to clump together. Well think about this, when you washed your hands last time and that dirty water went out into the sewage or when you flushed the toilet and all that filth went into the sewage or when you took the plug from your bath and all that went into the sewage, that water has to go to a sewage treatment plant, right? Now, what do you think they do to clean that water? Well, listen, you've got all these particles floating around, all these tiny particles floating around in, in this mass body of water. That's not the best scenario if they want to clean the water. So what they do, they throw in a cationic substance into the water, okay? Now, what does a cationic substance do? It causes things to come together. Now, imagine you've got all these little particles and they throw this cationic substance into the water it changes the electrical properties of the water and all these little tiny particles, zoom, they come together and form one mass. And what happens to a mass if you put it into water? F flows to the bottom. So one minute you've got this mass body of water, all these tiny particles, next minute, boom, you've got this, 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 this substance which is all like come together and then it's stuck to the bottom and the water can carry on through the, through the sewage treatment plant. Now that might be good from one perspective, However, do you think some of that aluminium sulfate could end up in your drinking water? Well, let me tell you something. If you see this thing here, this is a distiller. This is distilling about four litres of water from my tap. I collected the substances from that. Lo and behold, take a look at that. Does that look like something you want to drink? Obviously, it's diluted when it comes through the tap, but I wanted to collect that to show you. And there it is. So the reason why I take tap water, and I first of all, I distill it, which effectively, if you know anything about water, kind of kills the water, but at least it cleans it up. Then it goes into the Vitalizer Plus, which uses vortex action to turn the water back into a living liquid crystal. But we'll talk about that at a later date. So, what was my point? My point was this. If you're drinking tap water, you might be drinking toxicity and chemicals. In fact, there's no might be about it. If you're living in Western civilization, listen, these guys, you know, they might be doing the best they can, but they can't purify water and make it, make it something that's good for your body. So, probably better drinking that than a can of Coca-Cola. However, if that's what you want in your body, carry on drinking tap water. And remember, if that substance is going into your body, the aluminium sulfate, and also if you're eating foods from tins, some of that, some of that metal might be leaching into your, um, you know, leaching into your food. If you're working around kind of heavy metals and they're coming into your system, that can create a cationic effect in your body. If you're around pollution all the time, you know, you're stuck in the center of a busy city, you need to make sure that you're aware of what's going on around you so that you can fight back with your own strategies and with technology that, that exists. So that's cationic substances to a degree. Anionic substances. Let me tell you something, one of our best selling products, systemic enzymes. What do systemic enzymes do? Systemic enzymes are anionic in nature. If you've ever bought Vitalzyme, Zyme Essence, Neprinol, um, or the Life Give Hippocrates systemic enzymes, what you're getting there is something which is going to go into your body and create dispersion. Now we know, because we see people reorder these products, we know that they create health. We've had people reduce fibroids, we've had people reduce scar tissue, it eats away at fibrosis. There's a whole host of benefits. But one of the things to know for your health is they're anionic surfactants or anionic in nature. They create dispersion. Let me tell you something, if you've, if you've ever been for a live blood analysis, you've taken a drop of blood, and it's all stacked up, here's the secret, here's the, here's the magic trick. Don't eat for eight hours, just drink plenty of good water, take a load of systemic enzymes, and all of a sudden, your blood cells will be floating around freely, and you'll probably feel better. You go and stand outside barefoot on the earth at the same time and do all of that, let me tell you, you're gonna flip your health into, into a direction which is gonna, well, 
it's going to set you up for the future rather than leading towards your demise. So that's it for today. Remember, anionic substances create flow, they create dispersion. Cationic substances create things to come together. You would want less of these. What are non-ionic substances? Sugar and alcohol. Need I say more? Eliminate sugar from your diet. Alcohol, well, I'd like to tell you I've eliminated it from my diet. I have it from time to time. Such is life. Make sure that you use these strategies to, to your advantage and you put yourself in a great, powerful position of increasing zeta potential and experiencing great health. For more information on these subjects, page 252 of Aggressive Health and go to aggressivehealth.co.uk and look at the three-month video mastery matrix where we go into these subjects in a bit more detail. See you, well, excuse me, on the next video.